Like, I don't understand. What do I have to do? Now I have to go publicly, bro. I've, this is four times. I don't understand, dog. All good. Let's just get straight to talking, bro. You know? Um... Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put my headphones down. I'm going to put my phone down so I don't get interrupted, all right? I'm going to talk about everything with you guys because I have to, bro. I literally have to. All right. So, noties are out. I am not clickbaiting. I'm officially leaving SSB. I talked to Zane, Snaggymo, Prime. I talked to uh, Salary. I talked to Royce. I talked to Cuffum. I talked to everybody. Everybody in the group, every single person in the group. I feel horrible about what I'm doing and I'm gonna explain everything. I'm gonna explain why I'm doing this shit. I'm gonna explain everything. So before you guys put L, I'm not joining another team. No, bro, I'm not joining another team. I'm not making another team. I'm gonna explain what the fuck is happening. So as you guys know what happened with fucking um, the whole Snaggy situation, right? Snaggy, you know, I love you, bro. I'm always gonna love you, but what you did was wrong. I mean, everybody knows what you did was wrong. Stranding somebody, right? And, and I'm sorry bringing that up, but it's just still that was that was fucked up. You know, we had issues in the we had issues going on with the, with the whole SSB shit. And I I sent Shinagi home, as you guys know. I literally sent him home, and I wanted to resolve things. I wanted everybody to resolve things. We were all talking. We were all talking in the Discord. I was Facetiming people, talking to people. Like I was just trying to figure out what the fuck was up. I wanna I wanted us to bounce back. I want to see everyone's heads at. As you guys know. Royce already expressed how he felt. He didn't want to be around Schnag anymore. And that's his own personal reason. And I completely understand, obviously, you know? I completely understand. A lot of you guys really think I'm capping. You're going to understand this is not cap when I get down to it. Because I have screenshots of everything I'm going to show you guys, okay? So, here's what happens. We're trying to fix things. We're really trying to fix things. Trying to get shit going. And, um, cuff them. Cuff them. I already talked to you about it, but I have to address it online because... You've done this in the past, bro. You've done this with my ex, and you've done this with a, 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 another girl. Um, so, as you guys know, I'm dating Pammy, right? She has a friend, and uh, her friend was staying at this house. So, what happened was, um, Cuffum DM'd my, Pammy's friend multiple times, three three nights in a row, basically saying like like just just trying to DM her. She told me, Aiden, I'm not comfortable with this at all. Like, I, I'm not comfortable at all with this. Like, can you please talk to him? So I call Cuff him up. I'm like, yo, bro, please. Like, again, like, I'm telling you, bro, don't fucking DM her. This is wrong. Like, don't do this shit. Don't do it. Anyways, so the next day he posts her on his story and says, everyone go vouch and spam for me. Like, everyone, everyone go fucking spam her and shit. So she left the house because of that, right? She left the house because of that. And, um, cause Cuffin, she heard about Cuffin coming to LA, right? So the whole thing about, you know, and anyone, and anyone saying shit like, you know, Aiden, like, you know, like you're fucking taking it to heart and soft. It affects my relationship and it affects my actual personal life, especially when I've already talked to him about it. You know what I mean? Like, that's just weird to me. Um, Cuff, I'm, I'm not doing too much though, bro. I talked to everybody in the group. Everybody agrees with me that it should be addressed. It was it was weird, bro. It was weird. And the thing is, it's like I'm leaving SSB because I can't see myself living or being around, you know, like that that shit. And we were just trying to fix everything, bro. We were just trying to fix everything. And you're affecting my personal life now, right? So again, we're gonna talk about more things about that. What about me and nah, Ron? Nothing to do with you. You know, I, I, you're not in this at all. It's between Cuff and myself. I talked to, I talked to Snaggy Mo. Snaggy Mo agrees with me. He said that shit was really fucking weird, Cuff him. I talked to everybody, bro. Everybody around me. Literally everybody. It's wrong, bro, what you did. Okay? And Cuff him. I've never, ever, 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 ever done anything to, to, you know, to just affect your life or make your life harder. But you you did something that was really fucking weird to me, bro. And it, and, and it was just really weird. It was really fucking weird. And cuff him. Personally, I don't care. I don't care about what you did. But I told you, bro. I said, cuff him. Don't fucking do it, bro. Don't do it. And you still went ahead and you did the worst thing possible. 
Pammy's friend doesn't do social media and you put her fucking store, you put her post on your story and said, everyone go fucking, you know what I mean? You DM'd her three days in a row. And the reason why I'm going to the internet is because I've talked to you privately about it multiple times. And you don't, and you just don't, bro. You don't fucking, you don't talk to me. Cuff, we made a tweet saying it's illegal to talk to girls. She didn't want to talk to you. She told me, Aiden, your friend is har like harassing me. Like, I don't, I don't want that. And then when you put her fucking picture on the, her, your story, like, that's weird, bro. If I tell you, cuff him, the girl doesn't want you. The girl does not want to talk to you. And you fucking put her on your story and say, go vouch for me. That's weird. That's fucking weird. On God, that's weird. If you're saying it's not, you support harassment or some shit. That's fucking really weird, bro. It's really fucking weird. Now look, everything that's going on with the whole drama shit, leak, leak, leak what happened. I mean, I, I, there's a picture of it. Look. Like, bro. Hey, yo, go vouch. You put it on her, his story, bro. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's the proof. That's all you need to see. I mean, seriously. I just don't understand it. And look, listen. And again, if you guys are saying I'm, I'm taking it too far, it's like, bro, you have to understand. I can't live with somebody. And cuff them. And listen, I let I let stuff build up. I've talked to cuff them off stream a lot when it comes to drama and shit with my friend, like with my exes and shit. You know, listen. I don't want to touch too much base on this, but my ex, you guys know about my ex, like he was weird with that. But at the same time, he has done like when she was going through a hard time with the breakup, he was there for her and stuff. That's okay. But you've done weird stuff around that shit. Same shit with Corinna. Remember when I used to talk to Corinna and shit, bro, I would be like, just don't play with her, bro. Like, please, like, don't, don't, don't develop a relationship. It's weird for me because me and Corinna, like you guys know what's happening with the internet harassing her and shit. It was just weird, bro. I've given you, you know, I've just, I've talked to you about it multiple times. It's the third time. Even with Pammy. Oh, my God. Before Pammy was my, um, before Pammy was my, um, oh, my God. Everybody can vouch. Before Pammy was my girlfriend, I would tell Kaufman, I'd be like, bro, you know, Pammy's freaked out. That's why she unfollowed him on Twitter months ago. And you would still fucking reply under her tweets and shit. Oh, God, I remember. Yeah, cookies. You guys all remember like, I don't understand. What do I have to do? Now I have to go publicly, bro. I This is four times. I don't understand, dog. So now we have weird shit going on with Snaggy, Cuff them. I talk to everybody. I talk to Prime, Zane, Celery, Snaggy Mo, Royce. They all think it's fucking weird. They all think that, yo, I don't blame you. I don't understand. I had so much shit going for this entire group. So I'm not putting the complete blame on Cuff. What he did was extremely weird. But you see, now Snaggy and Cuff are both technically, you know what I mean? Like, you guys, you guys get what I'm saying? It's weird. It's weird. I'm leaving the group. Zane, Snaggy, Royce, everybody wants me to leave. Everybody. You guys are saying just kick them. It's not simple like that. It's not simple. I can't kick Snaggy or Cuff. They created the group with me. They did it with me. I'm leaving. They could do whatever the fuck they want to do with that group. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. All I could say is this. Prime, you're the real you're one of the realest motherfuckers I've ever met in my life. I love you, Prime. I met you in 2016. He can vouch for the same shit for me. He's a great fucking guy. I love Prime. Zane, same shit, bro. I could trust Zane. Snaggymo, same with you, bro. I've known no Snaggymo for years. Yeah, yo, Rewack, just call the world, call the Minecraft world for now, Aiden's Planet for now. We gotta think of a new fucking name. I don't know. Just re rename that shit. But, um, <laughs> that's funny as fuck. Royce is a... I talked to Royce for 30 minutes yesterday. He's a great guy. He's a great fucking guy. IQ, they sort of five gifted. Ron said, is this a troll? Ron, all my, all my life it's not a troll. All my life it's not a troll. On God it's not. 
Bro, everybody told me to raise corrupt in mine. Leave. Speed. Leave. Fucking everybody, bro. Every single person. Everybody's telling me to leave. Cuff him. You're complaining to me on the phone. I, I already tried talking to you privately, bro. I tried talking to you privately, dog. You guys can't put all the blame on, on SSB breaking up on Cuff him, though. But what you did is very fucking foul. But what Schnaggy did to you is also very foul. Two wrongs don't make a right. I'm not, I, I didn't just do that shit purposely to fucking bash you, bro. What else can I do? I've tried talking to you privately five, like four or five times. Everybody can vouch in the fucking group. You guys don't understand what happens off camera and shit. You just don't. You don't, bro. You don't. You really don't. This group has caused me nothing but drama, and it's not everybody in this group. That's why I'm not blaming specifically one person. And, for example, somebody like Prime. He Chat, who's the biggest grinder in SSB? Prime, right? This motherfucker puts in the most hours out of anybody we've ever seen in our lives. Do you guys remember when I was coming up, I would stream six to eight hours a day? You know what I mean? Okay, thanks for the five gifted, right? So it's like, Prime is the greatest grinder. Why is it fair that other people can burn bridges for Prime? I'm trying to get Prime out of Chicago. I'm trying to get Prime onto better and bigger things. He's a fucking brother to me, right? Eric said 10 to 12 hours. I used to do 12 hour streams all the time. Exactly, Eric. Once quarter on the 2K22, that's all I used to do. That's it. That's it, bro. It's not fair for Prime to suffer out of a decision. It's not fair for other people to be able to fuck up opportunities for Prime, for Zane. For people that don't do anything. They obviously grind. I didn't mean it like that, but don't do anything bad. Don't fucking bat. Like, you know what I mean? It's not fair. It's not fair. Nah, Speed didn't leave yet. Me and Speed are gonna uh me and Speed are gonna do a workout stream today. Me and Speed are gonna do a workout stream today. Nick, thanks for the five gifted. And I'm sorry guys that you guys all witnessed the fucking this whole thing just fall out. But it happened, bro. The SSB house is not happening. I'm out of SSB. They can all do whatever they want to do with it. Again, I can call up any of my boys right now. They're all my boys. Watch this shit. Watch this shit. I'm gonna call up Snaggy Mo right now. Yo, I hate putting you on the spot, but did I talk to you today at all? Can you tell people that I this was not blindsided? You spoke to me more than more than once, bro. I'm down. Yeah, so you knew what was going on and you support my decision. I support 100 percent bro. You better off just leaving, obviously. Alright, bro. I appreciate you. I'm gonna talk to you in a bit. Alright, buddy. Alright. Okay. Listen. I appreciate everybody respecting me and shit. I really do. I'm seeing a lot of love in the chat, for real. I want people to know that, yo, Nat, thanks for the 50, get the subs. Everyone put W's in the fucking chat. Seriously, put W's in the fucking chat, seriously. Thank you so much. You guys watch SSB build the fuck up and then fall down like that. And I really, really wish shit could have been settled off camera, but I couldn't do it. For example, and I don't like bringing up the past, bro. But I was doing an IRL stream. I was showing my phone. You guys know when I do my IRL streams? You guys know what I'm talking about? How I show my phone. Say yes, I know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yes, because I'm showing my phone because I'm reading the chat. You guys know. Cuffum, you've never ever sent me a dick pic before, bro. You send me a dick pic when I'm doing an IRL stream? I'm hard as fuck watching you right now? That's weird. Are you trying to get me banned? So from that point on, that's when, like... I've talked to him about it, you know, like when he was in person and shit. So I never, I ne and I talked about it in person, you know, and, and, you know, I look, and again, I've probably done stuff to, to cuff that he's going to bring up and say like, yo, he's done this, he's done that. Whatever you want to say, I'm saying facts, bro. And I could provide facts. I could literally pull up the texts of you fucking sending me your dick if I wanted to right now and get banned. You know what I'm trying to say? But the biggest thing for me, bro, where you went wrong was harassing my my girlfriend, my harassing my girlfriend's friend after I told you, don't do that, bro. Don't do it. And you still went ahead and did the most. 
She's not a social media person, as you know. I wish the best for every single person in that group, including Kafa Man Schnaggy. I really do. Do I know what's going to happen? No. But what can I tell you guys is if people, let me, let me tell you guys what a team is. I'm going to tell you guys why AMP is the greatest, one of the greatest teams of all time. Let me just tell you one thing. What AMP has is awesome, and I'm going to explain why. AMP, what do they do? They all work really hard together. I think Ray's Corrupted was basically telling me like, yo, Aiden, there's only a certain amount of people in your group that grind really hard, you know, and I don't grind the hardest anymore. I'm admitting it. You guys know I don't. You guys know I don't, right? But what I'm trying to say is like, not everybody gives this shit all they got. Somebody, somebody had said like, even when the internet was getting booted, you guys remember Speed would still stream every fucking day. And thank you, Stable Ronaldo, for saying that. I do a lot behind closed scenes because I want to see everybody that's on my team eat. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm just not, I'm not a, I'm not a jealous person. I don't, I don't, I'm not jealous. I'm always working, give yourself credit. But salary, I don't put all my hours into Twitch anymore. I put my hours into other opportunities, commercial shoots, YouTube videos with other people, collaborations. Um, going to certain events to meet people and network. Like, I, I know what I'm doing because in the long run, I'm trying to benefit my friends. And by the way, I'm letting everyone know right now, just because I left SSB, I'm still gonna fucking, they're still my boys. You're still, there's Prime is still my boy. I promise you, I got you for life, Prime. I promise you. There's not one fucking thing Prime has ever done to me that's been weird. He's a, or he's a real motherfucker. He's real. He's so real, right? Same with Zane. When, when all that L.A. shit was happening, when they all cracked down on me in L.A., Zane and Prime had nothing to do with that. And again, I'm really sorry for publicly speaking about this stuff. I'm, I'm glad you guys all support me. But I had to come clean and do this shit. I had to. I had to. I had no fucking choice. What about everybody else? Snagimo, he knows he's my boy. I've always been in contact with Snagimo. He's still going to be on my e-dates. He's still going to be able to call me up whenever the fuck he wants to talk. Runtz, you too. Anybody you guys say. All of them, bro. Fucking Royce. All of them. Party, of course. Ron, of course. Sorry I had to get all this out, too. For the first 30 minutes of the stream. You know? AMP Aiden? Nah. I think I'm gonna stay solo for now. Maybe I'll make my maybe I'll rebrand and, and, and take on all my boys. You know, people that I can genuinely kick it with off stream and that don't do crazy shit to me off stream. <laughs> 